In this lecture, we will discuss about addition of bromine to trans to butene. This molecule is trans to butene. And if you remember addition of bromine to alkene is anti addition. So let us first make the perspective drawing of this alkene. So we have a bond let us say methyl that is going inside. We have a hydrogen that is coming outside. Hydrogen that is going inside. Methyl that is coming outside. Now for bromine we have two possibility. Bromine let us call this is carbon 1, this is carbon 2. On carbon 1 it can attack from top. On carbon 2 it can attack from bottom. So this is possibility A. We can have other possibility. So this is methyl, hydrogen, hydrogen methyl. On carbon 1, it can attack from bottom and on carbon 2 it can attack from top. So we have two possibility of anti attack. In both cases attack is anti. That is attack is happening from opposite faces. So this attack is anti attack and this one is also anti attack. Now let us consider case A first. So we have so here we have methyl hydrogen methyl hydrogen. So we are adding bromine on this face from top and from here we are adding from bottom. So this is one, this is carbon two. Now once bromine is added from top these two group will go slightly down and these two group will go slightly up because bromine is added from bottom. So now we will have a single bond here because a bromine and bromine is added. So this group will go slightly up. This group will also go slightly up and bromine sorry this is going downward because bromine is adding from top face. hydrogen is here, methyl is here and on this carbon this will go up and this will also go up and bromine will be bottom. Now let us convert this into Sahar's projection formula. So here we will have regular by, here we will have inverted by. So bromine is here, bromine is here methyl hydrogen hydrogen and methyl. Now I want to convert this into feature projection formula. In feature projection formula I need two bonds that is on away from the observer. Let us say observer is here. One group is away from the observer. I need on this carbon a group that is away from the observer. So what we will do, let us rotate this by 180 degree. So we can do a rotation about carbon 1, carbon 2 bond. So this rotation is along C1, C2 bond. So if I rotate by 180 degree, here I have regular by and here we will also have a regular by. So this is rotated by 180 degree. So this bromine will come on the bottom and this methyl will be diametrically opposite. So it will be rotated by 180 degrees. So this angle is 180. So methyl will reach here. And this hydrogen will be diametrically opposite. So it will reach somewhere here. So this is hydrogen. 
and configuration of carbon 2 will remain as it is bromine methyl and hydrogen now I can convert this into feature projection formula so this is carbon 1 this is carbon 2 carbon 1 we have bromine on the bottom anything that is away from the observer will go in the feature projection formula on vertical line bromine is in the bottom on carbon 1 we have methyl left side hydrogen is right side so this is right side this is left side on carbon 2 we have methyl that is left side hydrogen that is right side now if you see this compound has a plane of symmetry so this will be meso compound so this is not optically active so if I have attack from carbon 1 top carbon 2 bottom we will have a meso compound let us consider case B so we have methyl and hydrogen and this time we have attack on one from bottom and carbon 2 we have attack from top so if this happens now attack is from bottom so these two group will go top so let us see again so this is from bottom so these two group will slightly lift up so we will have methyl here and hydrogen here and bromine will be on the bottom now here these two group will be lifted down so we will have inverted by so this is methyl this is hydrogen and we will have a bromine here on the top let us convert this formula into Sahar's projection formula so we have bromine methyl hydrogen here we will have a regular by bromine hydrogen methyl so this is carbon 1 this is carbon 2 now I want to convert this Sahar's projection formula into feature projection formula this can be done by rotation if I rotate this this is already downside so in feature projection formula I need two groups one group is here and I need one group here that is away from the observer so observer is here so I need two groups away from the observer this can be done if I rotate along this bond by 180 degree so this is regular by now if I rotate about 180 degree this bromine will come downside and these two group will be rotated so here also we will have a regular by carbon 1 configuration will remain same carbon 2 bromine will come on the bottom and this hydrogen will be diametrically opposite so hydrogen will be here and methyl will be here diametrically opposite now let us make the feature projection formula of this compound so we have this bromine on carbon number 1 on the bottom so this will go in feature projection formula on vertical line carbon number 2 bromine is on the bottom carbon number 1 we have hydrogen and methyl carbon number 2 left side hydrogen right side methyl this time again this compound has a plane of symmetry so this compound is meso and optically inactive so you see 
either we have option A or we have option B. In both cases, we are getting the same product that is meso product. So this means if I have trans 2 butene and addition of bromine that is anti addition, that is addition of bromine, then final product we will have meso. If you remember, we have also said in some of the lecture that is if I have cis 2 butene plus addition of bromine that is anti addition, we will have racemic mixture. So, one can remember if I have trans and addition is also trans, product is meso. If I have cis, addition is also trans, then we have racemic. So, cis plus cis, cis plus NT, we will have racemic mixture. But if I have cis or trans, addition is trans, we will have meso. This is also true for if I have cis plus addition is cis, in this case also we will have meso. If I have trans and addition is trans, addition is cis, that is cis or sin, NT or trans is same, similarly cis and sin is same. So, if my reactant is cis, addition is cis, meso. Addition is cis, but the reactant is trans, we will have a racemic mixture. For example, on cis 2 butene, if I add D2, that is cis 2 butene is cis, addition is cis, so final product will be meso. If I have trans 2 butene, add deuterium that initial is trans, addition is cis, finally we will have racemic mixture. Similarly, if I have cis 2 butene, addition of bromine that is addition is anti, we will have racemic mixture. So, we have cis and addition is anti, we will have racemic mixture. If I have trans 2 butene, that is reactant is trans and addition is anti, that is bromine, we will have meso compound. So, this you can remember as a thumb rule.